Hey, brain dead. Wake up. I can't wait for me. Michael, please. Let's get out of here, Kay. He put my brother back in a coma. Just way too extravagant. That's one of the things you love most of <laughs> One of the many things. I love being here with you. And I love being pregnant with your baby. I just want it to last. It will. We will. God, if it weren't for you, I'd be driving Michael crazy right now, hovering and hovering. I'm sure he's doing fine in physical therapy, and he yes, doesn't. And if he's me. not, then we will deal with it together. I like knowing that you have my back. Yeah. I just have been having such a hard time dealing with no, all no, this, no, no, and no, thanks no. for putting you, up you, with hey, me. Hey, you've, I been can't dealing, imagine. you've been dealing with an impossible situation, and you're doing really good. Yeah. Yes. No, I don't know. Dealing with Michael and raising our children will be difficult at times. I hope that we always have afternoons like this, you know, where I can give you extravagant gifts for no reason. Hear you laugh. You have given me the life that I always wanted, complete with our little baby girl. I love you so much. That's a good thing, right? No, you're leaving. My brother could be dying. You can call when we get around the block. I'm not leaving him. Think about it. Okay, we're underage. We're in a dive. Okay, if the cops show up, we'll get arrested, which will ruin my chances of going to college. If you're that scared, then get out. I'm calling. All right, one sec. Okay, just... Hey, Michael. Are you all right? Nobody hits me. You got that? Nobody ever hits me. You're really crazy. Come on, show me what you got, man. Come on. This guy's seriously mental. Tell my sister you're a punk. Say it. Let's get out of here. I'm not going anywhere with you. We could try scooting really low on the couch. Maybe they won't see us. We could just ignore them. We can't. Come on. It could be important. No. Really. Don't go. Morgan, anyway, he went out to uh, pizza with some friends. Uh, so. are, you, are you sure? That sounds really convenient. Isn't he the best? No, yeah, he's the best. It's fine. Mm -hmm. I'll be back soon. Okay. Bye. 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 Oh, my God. Sit down. I completely ruined your night. No, no, no. No, it's early, and we had a great oh. afternoon, so it's okay. Sit, 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 please. I missed you. I missed you, too. And I'm sorry. I have been... I've been swamped. So I haven't had a chance to thank you for being there when Michael woke up. I'm really sorry about that, and I, I really appreciate how much you've been there for him. I do. Yeah, well, how has he been now that he's been home? It's been a little rocky, but he's going to be okay. Michael's going to be great. Look at you standing there trying to be cool. You don't have to stay here and take care of your psycho brother. Let's go to Chandler's. Grants from the city tonight. I'm not leaving, Michael. Get out of here. Watch your back, though. Come on. Okay. Last chance. It's not taking a waste to make it up to me. Are you okay? That is the most fun I've had in more than a year. I am. You're scared me to death. I thought you were dead. Am I good? Or am I great? Your head hurt? What are you doing? He fell pretty hard. We should probably run by the hospital and get you checked out. They'll call mom and she'll freak. Michael, you just had brain surgery and you hit my your mom head. barely let me take a cab to my physical therapy today. If she finds out about this, she's gonna glue herself to me forever. So we'll make up a lie on the way to the hospital. You need to see a doctor. Don't worry about it. Okay. But don't pass out or anything. Wait a minute, how'd you end up here anyway? Did you actually go to physical therapy? Yes. 
And the cab got lost on your way home? And the cab took a shortcut and we passed by Jake's, so I asked him to stop. Total impulse. What about you? I go to clubs all the time. Even this dive. That's another thing I miss. I'll help you get caught up, don't worry. Michael. Christina. What on earth are you both doing here? You know, I have to thank you for being such a good friend to Michael. Oh, I've neglected him the past couple weeks. So. No, no. I know he can depend on you. And, and thank God, because you're the only one I think he'll listen to. Well, I'm going to try and be around more often. Busy, huh? I can't imagine what it's like to work for Kate Howard. I want to oh, put a gun to my head. Well, she's in France now, but yes, with everything else, my dad is taken off again, and Lucky hates our new brother, and Spinelli's doing this P.I. thing Wait a minute. where he's... Lucky hates your new brother. What are you talking about? Okay, do you know the um, bartender at the Haunted Star? I haven't been bar hopping lately. Okay, no. okay his name is... Ethan Lovett and my dad and Holly Sutton gave me a new half brother. Yeah. <laughs> oh my! How did he find his way here? I, it's a long story, but my dad and Holly hooked up a long time ago. You know what? Anyway, Lucky is not handling it well, and he's blaming Ethan for my dad's mistake. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Well, what about you? Are you and Johnny, you guys are still broken up, right? Yeah. And I was furious with Maxie. I completely blamed her. I put um, duct tape down the center of our apartment with my stuff on one side oh, and her that. stuff on the other. That's I something I would do. I know. I knew you would be proud of me. But, you know, the reality is uh, our breakup wasn't about Maxie. When I had my breakdown, I think Johnny was falling more and more out of love with me and more like he wanted to take care of me. You know, like he was guilty about something. Who knows? I He wanted out and I thought he was gonna go to Maxi, but hey, he didn't, so. <laughs> you sound okay with this. Well, yeah, better than I expected. Are you sure? Are you sure you're not just covering how hurt you are? Why? Well, I, um, I have to tell you this, but, um, Johnny's seeing someone else. Oh. Yeah, I know. Olivia Falconeri. <laughs> you are supposed to be tutoring at a teen center. Please explain to me why you are sitting at a bar. It's okay, Mom. No, it's not okay. I could have had this place shut down for letting both of you through the door. Did anyone serve you a drink? No, just water. No, of course not. Mom, please don't make this more difficult for Michael than it already is. Michael had a difficult day, and I almost had him talked into going home. That's true. There is no excuse for either of you sitting at this bar. I didn't want to go home after physical therapy. I took a cab here, had him drop me off. I was having so much fun that I called Christina and asked her to come meet me. I got into a cab and came straight over here to try to talk some sense into him. We we're just going to play a game of pool and go home. Michael, do you have any concept of how dangerous it is for you to be here? I didn't think it through. Dr. Drake said that impulse control might be an issue. All right, well, I'm sorry for everything that you've had to go through. I really am. I feel terrible that you have to deal with what you're dealing with right now. But this shows very bad judgment on your part. Mom, nothing happened. Everything's under control. Everything is out of control when two people underage are sitting in a bar. Michael really needs our support right now. And I miss him so much. I appreciate how much you love your brother. And I appreciate what you're going through. But his parents need to deal with Michael right now. That is their job, not yours. 